Hey everyone, today I'm diving deep into a topic that's incredibly important for keeping your legs and feet in top shape, how to enhance blood flow through the foods. As a vascular physician, I've dedicated years to studying blood vessels and their critical role in keeping our bodies healthy and active. Stick around until the end because I'm gonna share powerful tips on how to boost blood flow. Watch the whole video to learn simple, science-backed ways to keep your circulation strong. Poor circulation in the legs can lead to serious challenges from discomfort during a simple walk to severe complications like chronic wounds, infections, or even the risk of amputation. That's why I'm excited to share practical, science-backed strategies to support your vascular health through diet and lifestyle changes. Let's explore why circulation is so vital, what causes problems, five powerful foods to boost blood flow, and key things to steer clear of to protect your legs and feet. Let's start with why blood flow to your legs matters so much. Your heart is the powerhouse that pumps blood to every corner of your body, from your brain to your toes. When that blood flow to your legs gets compromised, it affects not just your muscles, but also your skin, nerves, and even bones. Imagine walking from your car to the grocery store or climbing a flight of stairs if your legs aren't getting enough oxygen and nutrients through robust blood flow, your muscles can cramp, making movement painful or even impossible. Over time, poor circulation can lead to skin breakdown, causing ulcers that refuse to heal. For those with conditions like diabetes, this is particularly dangerous because infections can escalate quickly, potentially leading to gangrene or in severe cases, amputation. My work in angiogenesis the process of growing new blood vessels has shown me firsthand how essential healthy circulation is, not just for your legs, but for your overall quality of life. So what leads to poor blood flow in the legs? One of the main culprits is peripheral arterial disease or PED, a condition where arteries narrow due to plaque buildup known as atherosclerosis. This buildup can come from high cholesterol levels, elevated blood pressure, smoking, vaping, or diabetes. These factors damage blood vessels, making them stiff, narrow, or blocked, which restricts the flow of blood. Picture your arteries as highways. If they're clogged with traffic or riddled with potholes, the flow of blood slows to a trickle. Diabetes complicates things further by causing neuropathy, a condition where nerve damage numbs your feet. Without sensation, you might step on something sharp, like a piece of glass or a nail, and not even notice. A small cut can turn into a major wound because poor blood flow slows healing, and a weakened immune system, common in diabetes, makes infections harder to fight. Your heart is at the center of this equation. It's the pump that drives blood to your extremities, so keeping it strong is critical. Conditions like heart failure or cardiomyopathy weaken the heart's ability to push blood effectively, starving your legs of the oxygen and nutrients they need. Healthy blood vessels and nerves are just as important. The nerves in your feet act like sensors, helping you feel your environment. Think of the sensation of warm sand on a beach or the sting of stepping on a pebble. Without that feedback, injuries can go unnoticed, setting the stage for complications. My research in food as medicine has revealed that what you put on your plate can either strengthen or undermine your vascular health, so let's dive into how to use diet to keep your circulation robust. Before we get to the foods that can help, let's talk about what to avoid. These are the habits and choices that can harm your blood vessels and worsen circulation. First, cut back on alcohol. It's a toxin that puts stress on your blood vessels and impairs stem cells, which are essential for repairing and maintaining your arteries. Heavy drinking makes it harder for your body to recover from circulatory damage, especially if you already have blockages. Next, watch your salt intake. Too much salt acts like a corrosive force in your bloodstream, raising blood pressure and damaging the delicate inner lining of your arteries. When that lining gets rough, cholesterol and other particles stick to it, narrowing the vessels and choking off blood flow. Think of it like rust forming inside a pipe, making it harder for water, or in this case, blood, to pass through. Ultra-processed foods are another major problem. 
They're linked to chronic conditions like type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome, both of which wreak havoc on circulation. These foods are often loaded with excessive salt, sugar, and unhealthy fats, setting the stage for atherosclerosis and diabetic complications like retinopathy, uh, which can lead to blindness or foot ulcers. Smoking and vaping are absolute non-starters. Nicotine and other chemicals in cigarettes and vapes stiffen and damage blood vessels, accelerating plaque buildup. If you're middle-aged or older and already dealing with circulation issues, smoking or vaping can make things dramatically worse, pushing you closer to serious complications. Finally, keep your blood cholesterol in check. High levels of LDL or bad cholesterol contribute to artery narrowing. Regular checkups with your doctor can monitor your lipid levels, and if they're elevated, statins might be recommended. But diet and lifestyle changes can also make a significant impact, which brings us to the foods that can help. Now let's explore five foods that can supercharge blood flow to your legs and feet, starting with beans. Beans are a nutritional goldmine celebrated in blue zones, regions around the world where people live exceptionally long, healthy lives. Whether you're eating navy beans, black beans, kidney beans, lentils, or chickpeas, these legumes are packed with dietary fiber and healthy fats. Fiber nourishes your gut microbiome, the community of bacteria that plays a surprising but critical role in vascular health. A healthy microbiome helps regulate blood lipids, reducing the cholesterol that clogs arteries. Beans also improve your metabolism by burning harmful visceral fat, the kind that wraps around your organs and puts pressure on your circulatory system. Less visceral fat means less inflammation, which protects the lining of your blood vessels and keeps them flexible. By supporting your metabolism, beans also help you avoid type 2 diabetes, a major risk factor for poor circulation. Try adding beans to soups, salads, or stews for a delicious, circulation-friendly boost. Next, let's talk about carrots. These vibrant vegetables are loaded with carotenoids, the pigments responsible for their bright orange color. Research from the Netherlands has shown that carotenoids help burn visceral fat, lowering inflammation, and easing the burden on your circulatory system. Like beans, carrots are rich in dietary fiber, which supports your gut microbiome and helps manage cholesterol levels, reducing the risk of artery blockages. Carotenoids also protect the inner lining of your blood vessels, keeping them smooth and less prone to plaque buildup. Unlike salt or smoking, which rough up your arteries, carrots help keep them resilient and flexible. Enjoy carrots raw as a snack, roasted as a side dish, or blended into a creamy soup for a tasty way to support your vascular health. Third on the list is garlic, a culinary staple that's also a vascular powerhouse. Garlic has been shown to lower LDL cholesterol while maintaining or even increasing HDL, the good cholesterol that protects your arteries. This helps prevent the narrowing that restricts blood flow to your legs. Garlic also acts as a natural anticoagulant, preventing blood clots that can trigger a heart attack of the leg, a crisis where a clot blocks blood flow causing severe pain and tissue damage. By interfering with platelet function, garlic keeps blood flowing smoothly like a traffic cop directing cars through a busy intersection. Whether you're cooking Mediterranean or Asian dishes, saute garlic in a little extra virgin olive oil with vegetables, seafood, or lean meats for a heart-healthy, circulation-boosting meal. Just a small amount can add big flavor and benefits. Food number four is dark chocolate, but we're talking about the high cacao kind, think 70% or higher. Cacao is packed with polyphenols, specifically flavonoids like proanthocyanidins and anthocyanins, which are fantastic for your blood vessels. These compounds reduce inflammation, lower the risk of blood clots, and improve overall circulation. One of the most exciting benefits of dark chocolate is its ability to stimulate nitric oxide production, a signaling molecule that recruits stem cells from your bone marrow. Stem cells are your body's repair crew, fixing damaged blood vessels and boosting blood flow to your legs and feet. 
A clinical study showed that drinking hot cocoa made with dark chocolate for 30 days increased stem cell levels and improved blood vessel function in older adults with heart disease. The study used a test called flow mediated dilation, which measures how well blood vessels rebound after being temporarily blocked and dark chocolate delivered impressive results. Enjoy a small square of dark chocolate or a cup of cocoa. Just keep it low in sugar and avoid dairy milk, which can block polyphenol absorption. Finally, black tea, whether it's Earl Grey English breakfast or another variety, black tea is a fermented version of green tea that retains powerful polyphenols called catechins. Studies in Italy found that drinking two cups of black tea daily for a month increased stem cell levels in people with poor circulation, improving blood vessel function, like dark chocolate, black tea enhances flow-mediated dilation, showing that it helps arteries stay flexible and resilient. The key is to avoid adding dairy like whipped cream or milk, which traps polyphenols and reduces their benefits. Stick to plain black tea or pair it with a non-dairy milk like oat or soy for maximum impact. This simple drink can become a daily ritual to support your vascular health and keep your legs feeling strong. Beyond these five foods, let's explore a few bonus options that support your stem cells and circulation. Barley is a fantastic choice, especially in hearty soups or stews. It contains beta-glucan, a soluble fiber that feeds your gut microbiome, lowers inflammation, and helps regulate cholesterol. Beta-glucan also promotes angiogenesis, the growth of new blood vessels, which is critical for restoring circulation in conditions like paid, mushrooms, like white button, shiitake, chanterelle, or persini are another beta glucan powerhouse. Don't discard the stems. They contain even more of this beneficial compound. Saudi mushrooms with garlic and a touch of olive oil for a quick circulation boosting side dish. Dried fruits with peels like apricots, apples, or pears offer ursolic acid, which lab studies show can improve blood flow in models of PAD. Choose organic to avoid pesticides and eat in moderation to limit sugar intake. Lastly, omega-3 fatty acids from seafood like wild-caught salmon, cod, clams, or shrimp protect your stem cells, ensuring they're ready to repair your blood vessels. Avoid frying these foods as it creates inflammatory compounds that can harm your arteries. Lifestyle changes are just as important as diet. Regular exercise like walking, cycling, or swimming strengthens your heart and improves blood flow to your legs. If you have paid, start with short walks and rest as needed to build stamina. Managing stress is also crucial. Chronic stress raises blood pressure and inflammation, which damage blood vessels. Practices like meditation, yoga, or even a daily walk in nature can keep stress in check. Prioritizing gut health is another game changer. A diverse microbiome supported by fiber-rich foods like beans, carrots, and barley lowers cholesterol, reduces inflammation, and supports wound healing. My research on Lactobacillus reuteri, a beneficial gut bacteria found in sardo bread or supplements, shows it can enhance circulation and accelerate healing. Let's also consider how to prepare these foods to maximize their benefits. Avoid frying, as it creates harmful chemicals that provoke inflammation and damage blood vessels. Instead, opt for cooking methods like steaming, roasting, or sautéing with a small amount of extra virgin olive oil. For example, a quick sauté of mushrooms with garlic and thyme takes just minutes and delivers a flavor, packed, circulation-friendly dish. When choosing seafood, go for lower food chain options like salmon or cod to avoid heavy metals like mercury found in larger fish. Wild-caught salmon is a better choice than farmed as it's naturally rich in omega, 3S from its diet of plankton, not processed feed. To wrap up, improving blood flow to your legs is about making intentional choices every day. Say no to smoking, vaping, excessive alcohol, salt, and ultra-processed foods. Get your cholesterol checked regularly and work with your doctor to manage it through diet, exercise, or medication if needed. Embrace foods like beans, carrots, garlic, dark chocolate, and black tea to nourish your blood vessels and stem cells. Add barley, mushrooms, dried fruit peels, and omega-3 rich seafood for an extra boost. These steps can help you avoid the pain and complications of poor circulation, 
keeping you active and healthy for years to come. For a fun way to incorporate carrots, check out my free carrot top salad recipe in the description. It's a quick, delicious way to enjoy this circulation friendly veggie from root to stem. Stay proactive, eat smart, and keep your blood flowing strong